Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a handsome prince in search of a bride. He made a proclamation and sent an invitation to all of the eligible maidens throughout the land, inviting them to the royal palace for a ball. There he hoped to find his future princess, and that is where our story begins. Well, be me, royal princess, so royal princess, so royal princess, so fine. Yay, I'm a princess. You are a princess. Yay. Girls, hurry up! I hear something. <gasps> Bowser and Meowser, what are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning that tablecloth, not playing with it. Now get back to work. Bowser, you're supposed to be guarding the pantry. And Meowser, you're supposed to be catching the mice. I don't want to see another mouse in this house. And if I do, it's into the woods you go. Girls, girls, quit dawdling. The ball is tonight and we have very little time to prepare. Now that our shopping is done, we need to plan our wardrobe. But mother, shopping is so tiring. And these packages are so heavy. Well then, give them to Cinderella. Where is that lazy girl? I'm right here, stepmother. Oh yes, there you are, always dawdling. Well, take these packages, open them up, and prepare our dresses for a fitting. Yes, stepmother. Oh, such a clumsy girl. Bowser and Meowser, go and check and see that nothing has happened to our packages. Now, let me take a look at my two beautiful my two daughters. Oh, oh, Mother, read it. Read it again. Read the invitation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Read it again, please. All right. Here it is. <gasps> His Royal Highness, Prince Charming, requests the presence of all unmarried maidens to be his guests at the royal ball. Oh, I can't believe the prince wants to meet me. Us? He wants to meet us, not just you. Well, he may even want to meet me. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, that invitation, it says unmarried. I'm a widow, so that makes me an eligible maiden. Don't you think I would make a beautiful bride? Well, don't you? Oh, yes, yes Mother. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. Well, if he doesn't choose me, I am certain he will choose one of you. Choose us for your princess, won't you please? Choose me, please. Choose me, please. Choose me, please. Giving all your princely love to me. Give to me. Give to me. Give to me. Darling, love to be your queen. That would be so peachy keen. And to wear your jewels in my hair. Won't you share? Won't you share? Won't you share? Choose us for your princess, won't you please? Won't 
Won't you please? Won't you please? Won't you please? We'll be just as happy as can be. You and me. You and me. You and me. Darling, won't you hear our plea? Don't say no, we don't have fleas. Cause we want to be your princess, if you please. Oh, I hope he chooses me. He's just gotta choose me. What? No way. Why would he choose you? Because. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Girls. Yes, Stop, Mom. Stop arguing. Let me have a look at you. Oh, Hagatha, yes. isn't there anything you can do about your posture? Well, uh, is this better? Better than what? You know the prince is going to be looking for a cultured maiden. He may ask you to recite poetry, to sing, to dance! <gasps> oh, I can dance! I can dance! Oh, I can really? Oh, perhaps you should recite poetry. Griselda. Yes, Mother. Must you wear those glasses all the time? Only to see. Well, take them off. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, put them back on. Now, what talent will you demonstrate to impress the prince? Well, I can sing. A pretty girl is like no, a melody. No, 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 no. How about telling him a little joke? A joke? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I, I know one. Um, how do you talk to a giant? I don't know. How do you talk to a giant? You use big words. Uh, Get uh, it? Big and uh, giant. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I have a joke. Yeah. Well, I hope it's funnier than that one. Okay. All right. How do you get a squirrel's attention? How? Well, you act like a nut. <gasps> hey. Uh, no, Chris, I think uh, you should also stick to poetry, all right? And... Remember, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Uh, Mother, uh, with, with that thought in mind, why did you name me Hagatha? Well, you were named after your two great grandmothers, Hortense and Agatha. <laughs> Couldn't you name me after Cousin Lilac or Aunt Daffodil? Oh, those are common names for common maidens. You two are special. Oh, Mother, Mother, who did you name me for? Uncle Grizzly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's special, all right. Well, you know what? I think it's time that you tried on your finery. So, Cinderella, come here. And don't take all day. Yeah, we can't wait all day. Cinderella, what took you so long? I'm oh, sorry, goodness. stepmother. I came as fast as I could. Well, take our measurements and then do the necessary alterations. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, wait. Cinderella, quick, <laughs> darling! What is taking so long? Well, I'm sorry, stepmother, but the tape measure, I can't get it all the way around. <laughs> all right, Hagatha, take a deep breath. Suck it in! <laughs> oh, forget about the waist and just do the hems. Make my hem a little shorter than usual. My ankles are my best feature. Uh, your only feature. Hey. We are going to go upstairs and freshen up. And when we return, we are going to want to do some primping. So lay out the baubles. Yes, stepmother. Oh, Cinderella, don't you uh, ever get tired of waiting on them? You do everything for others and have nothing for yourself. Well, I have two wonderful friends and a cozy corner in the kitchen where I can sit and look out the window at the garden. Well, I don't need much more than that to be happy. 
In my corner, cozy and warm, I can find rest away from the storm. In my corner, I imagine things are fine. Through the kitchen window, watching roses twine. It's a small space, but I love it so. It's my own place, a place I can go. Better than a palace with the gilded dome is my corner, the place I call Oh, I better hurry and get things prepared before stepmother comes back. Cinderella, where are the hats and baubles? Well, right here, stepmother. Oh, good. All right, girls. So I want you to start trying things on. And you are going to walk like a princess with your heads up and your shoulders back. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> A pretty girl is like a melody that haunts you night and day. Just like the strain of a haunting refrain, she'll start upon a marathon and run around your brain. You can't explain She's in your memory By morning, night and noon She will leave you and then Come back again A pretty girl is just like a pretty tune now, try it with a book on your head. Yes, a girls. Pretty girl. Wonderful. Is like a melody. Pick it up, pick it up. You Posture, yes. Mother. And girls, you need to put forth a little more effort. But how do you expect us to put forth more effort with last year's baubles? And I don't like any of the new dresses we bought. Me neither. Griselda, didn't I let you pick out your own dress? Yes, but now I think I've changed my mind. And Hagatha, what about you? Well, I've changed her mind, too. <sighs> Girls, no pouting. Well, I'm going to hold my breath until I turn blue. <gasps> <laughs> I didn't think you liked the color blue. Oh, <laughs> got you. <laughs> to me, little dears. There's something wrong with you, I fear. It's getting harder to please you, harder and harder each year. 
I don't want to make you blue, but you need a talking to. Like a lot of people I know, here's what's wrong with you. Oh, oh, oh. After you get what you want, you don't want it. If I gave you the moon, you'd grow tired of it soon. You're like a baby. You want when you want when you want it. But after you have been gotten, it's what you want, it's not forgotten. You're always wishing and wanting for something. <laughs> when you get what you want, you don't want what you get. You know I want each thing I see. Hey, give that dress ooh, to me. Ooh. Cause after you get what you want, you don't want what you wanted at all. It's mine. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> Oops. Girls, stop. I must put an end to this bickering. All right. The blue dress, the blue dress is mine. That leaves the pink dress, the green dress, and the peach dress. I don't want the green dress. I don't want the pink dress. Enough! Hagatha, you will take the green dress. And Griselda, you will take the pink dress. I don't want the green dress. I don't want the pink dress. Oh, for heaven's sakes, then just switch! Hurry, hurry, now that that's taken care of, Cinderella, do the necessary alterations. Well, right away, stepmother, but may I ask you a question? If you must, but be quick about it. We have very little time before we have to leave for the ball. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Since my stepsisters don't like the peach dress, may I wear it to the ball? Ooh. You <laughs> go to the ball. Ball? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's a ball, not a barn dance. But the invitation said all the maidens in the kingdom are welcome. Well, I don't think they meant you, my dear. No, that's prepos preposterous? Yes. Okay. Yeah, what she said. Besides, now I want to wear the peach dress. Uh, well, why does Griselda get to wear the peach dress? Why can't I wear the peach dress? Oh! <laughs> You see what you've done, Cinderella? You have caused your stepsisters to quarrel. I'm sorry, stepmother. Well, the situation with the peach dress is just out of the question. But I'll tell you what, Cinderella. If you can find a suitable dress, then you can go to the ball. <gasps> Oh, really, stepmother? Oh, thank you, stepmother. Stepmother, what are you saying? What are you doing? But first, you must finish all your chores. Oh, yes, of course, right away. Mm -hmm. Thank you, stepmother. Mother, why'd you say she can come with us to the ball? Yeah, mother, she'll make us look bad. I said she can go to the ball if she finds a suitable dress and finishes all her chores. Oh, and all she's got is that tattered old blue dress. <laughs> she has so many chores to do. Precisely. And there are some chores that will never, ever get done. <laughs> now, don't you two worry your pretty little heads about it. Let's get ready for the ball. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Oh, and remember, Cinderella, a suitable dress. Yes, stepmother. Oh, yes. And here's a list of all your chores. Bowser, okay. Meowser, did you hear the good news? I get to go to the ball. But Cinderella, aren't you worried about stepmother? Her promises have a way of not quite working out for you. Well, 
All I have to do is find a dress and finish my chores. We'll help. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bowser and Meowser reporting for duty. But where will you find a dress? <laughs> well, hidden over here under the table is a dress I used to wear to parties before stepmother came to live with us. Oh. It just needs a little sprucing up. Here, let me show you. <gasps> it's doggone beautiful. Oh, it's the cat's meow. It's my sweet little frilly blue gown. I haven't worn this in years. In my sweet little frilly blue gown. When I first wandered down into town, I was so proud inside as I felt every eye and in every shop window I'd primp passing by. A new manner of fashion I'd found And the world seemed to smile all around I wore it and tore it I'll always adore it My sweet little frilly blue gown Oh, it's so fun to dance again just think how much more fun you'll have dancing with the prince instead of just the dress. Oh, I dare not think of that yet. Not until all of my chores are done. Cinderella, I hear voices. Are you doing your chores? Uh, yes, stepmother. Well, hurry up. Okay. Will you help me? Yes. Woof, woof. Meow. Okay. Meow. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to sweep the ashes. I'm going to mop the floor. I'm going to do the dishes. Okay, okay what's chop? next? Chop the wood. I'm going to dust. I'll, I'll wash the clothes. Oh boy. Chickens! Okay. Go and about the cat. Let's fix these dresses up. Look how pretty these are. Delicious milk. I got the chicken. Woof, woof. Uh, yes, stepmother. Here they have, are. Have you done all the chores? Yes, stepmother. Have you swept the ashes? Yes. Mop the floors? Yes. Wash the dishes? Yes. Chop the firewood? Ooh. Yes. Milk the cows? Yes. Plucked the chicken? Yes. Everything on the list. I just finished. Well. I'm so, so sorry, because that just didn't give you enough time to find a suitable dress for the ball. So sad. Too bad. But I did find a dress. What? Well, it's my old party dress. It still fits. So then, it's all right. I can go to the ball? Oh, oh, just a minute, Cinderella. Uh, I have something in my eye. Oh, this is terrible, Mother. What are you doing? What are you doing? can't go with us. Wait, I have an idea. Here. Ooh. <gasps> oh, Cinderella. It seems you haven't done everything on the list. Did you catch all the mice? Well, I haven't seen any mice today, stepmother. Well, we are going to go put our gowns on, and when we return, I am going to check the pantry for mice. If I find even a speck 
of a whisker. You will not go to the ball. You will stay here until the job is done. Yes, stepmother. Understand? Yes, stepmother. Agatha, wait. What are, if there are no mice when Mother comes to check, then we'll have to take Cinderella with us to the ball. Oh, ooh, I have a plan to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, goody, what's the plan? Well, you know how there's always that mouse lurking around the house, the, the giant one? You mean Tiny? Yeah, Tiny, the giant mouse. Well, you know he can't resist the smallest crumb. Well, I have something here I know he won't be able to resist. What are you doing with the cheese in your pocket? Well, you know, dieting always makes me hungry. Girls! Ooh, coming, coming mother! mother. <gasps> okay. Pantry. Check. Fireplace. Check. Table. Cupboards. Corners. Check, check, check. 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 Have we checked everything? Yes. yes. <gasps> oh no, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Oh no, it's cheese. Where did that cheese come from? Oh it no. It must be the evil stepsisters. And if Tiny sees it, she'll come running. Oh, yes. oh, oh no. Oh no, oh, it's, oh, it's Tiny! tiny! <gasps> oh, we've got to catch her. And get back that cheese. Before stepmother comes back. Yes. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, oh. I can catch her with my claws. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hurry, let's get her.
God with it, but, but there's still no time left to mend my gown. Oh, I have something much more magical in mind for you than a mended dress. Well, I only have my blue frilly gown. I wore it, and then I tore it. I always adore it, but you need a gown fit for a princess. Well, where on earth would I find a gown like that? Nowhere on earth. Then where? Fairyland. <laughs> is there really such a place? There is, and I hear great. Why did you know all doggies and kitties come from Fairyland? They come to earth to protect the people they love. They're like godparents of ferns and fairy dust. I should have known, because Bowser and Meowser help me every single day. They lift my spirits and they, they help my troubles seem to fade away. But how did you know that I needed help? Bowser called me here. When a dog howls like that, I know someone needs my help. Oh, thank you, Bowser. And you too, Meowser. And now they're going to help you get to the ball. magic wand really did blow a fuse. Oh, I have a problem. Now I'm not sure if my magic will be strong enough to make the pumpkin coach take flight. And then there's the matter of Cinderella's dress. Well, if I can make the coach take flight, will there be enough magic left to turn her rags into a gown? Oh, I need help. Will you help me? My power comes from believing. So if you believe that Cinderella can get to the ball in a beautiful gown, it just might work. So I need you to say the magic spell with me on the count of three. Yes, yes, change her dress. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, yes, change her dress. 
All right, we won't know if it works until Cinderella gets to the ball, but I think that you did it. Okay, and now for the pumpkin coach. On the count of three, say up, up, and away. Ready? One, two, three. Up, up, and away. Oh, it worked. There she goes. <laughs> at us right now. <laughs> you hold your royal highness. Ah, uh, yes he is, so don't make a spectacle of yourselves. Remember, the prince is looking for one maiden to join him in the ballroom for the first dance. So you need to be on your best behavior. Oh, I'm... Just show your manners. Oh, I wish he'd choose me. I wish I could see. I think it's time that you practice that dance so that the prince will be impressed with how graceful you are. Okay. Ready, girls? La 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 Oh, she's got a lot of nerve interrupting our beautiful dance. I've never seen her before. I've never seen a gown like that before. Well, I could wear it better. Oh, yeah? She does look a little on the scrawny side. She's not a solid beauty like I am. <laughs> yes, her beauty is rather flimsy. Oh, you poor little bird. You're trapped in the vine. Here. There. Now you can fly away whenever you feel better. Ugh. How unladylike, touching that filthy bird. Yeah, the prince is looking for a bride, not a zookeeper. Oh, yuck, cooties. Fair maiden, the prince has seen your act of kindness and wishes to offer you the first dance. Will you join him in the royal ballroom? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. <gasps> I can't believe it. The nerve of that girl, upstaging my daughters! What a buttinsky! And right when I was in the middle of one of my good dance moves. Well, maybe if you would have tried to impress him less with his eye, and you would have tried to catch his ear with a lovely little tune. A <laughs> pretty girl is like a man. Oh, 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 wait, wait, Griselda, on second thought, silence will make more mysterious. Ooh, mother, why did he choose that girl instead of one of us for the first dance? Yes. What does she have that you don't have? Mm, besides grace. And beauty. Mm, and and charm. charm. Yes, besides that. I am going to speak with the royal guard. You deserve a grand entrance, so the prince will sit up and take notice. 
I will talk with him about how he should introduce you in a special way. Don't worry, I'll see to it. Oh. How can it be? He didn't choose me. He chose that flimsy girl. She's not that great. She could gain weight. She's like a pasty pearl. How come the prince didn't choose me? How could the prince dare refuse me? She is just a flimsy bubble floating with a frothy charm. She's not like us, doesn't wear a truss. And her brown hair we'd like to must. She won't be so perfect. Once we must her hair all. Oh, she is just a flimsy bubble, flimsy bubble in the air. <sighs> Announcing the maidens, Hagatha and Griselda, and Madame. Just announce me. Madame Gingivitis. My name is Ginger Ivy. <gasps> Come, girls, we must go back to the ballroom before that girl fills up the prince's entire dance guard. Come, let's go. Yes, yes, we'll go. Oh, yes, let's hurry. hurry. Poster, poster. Oh. Yes, very nice. Good. Cinderella, take flight. Hurry home before the stroke of midnight. Hurry up, Meowser! That guard looked mad! No! no. Skip! Before I set the royal guard dogs on you! We have to wait for Cinderella. I hope she needs out before all her magic does it. Where are we? Oh, here she comes! Hurry, Cinderella! Oh. Hurry! We better go! Skip! No. Oh. Wait for me! Where can she be? I don't know. She was right behind us. Well, we should have slowed down. She only has two legs instead of four. She's human. She has those funny-looking feet instead of paws. Oh, well, maybe I think I hear something now. Maybe that's her. <gasps> Squeak! It's Tiny! Tiny, did you see Cinderella? <gasps> Cinderella! <gasps> oh, Bowser, Meowser, and Tiny. Oh, I'm so glad to be home. I ran as fast as I could. Oh, I didn't want the prince to see me this way. What happened? We thought you were right behind us. Well, I was right behind you, but then my shoe got stuck in the cobblestone in the palace courtyard, and, well, that beautiful glass slipper that fairy godmother made me got stuck, and I had to leave it behind as I ran away. Oh, oh. oh Tiny said he, she saw the prince pick up the glass slipper. Thanks, Tiny. Oh. Oh. oh, how I wish I could have stayed at the ball longer. Did you get to meet the prince? Oh, not only did I meet him, but I got to dance with him all night long. It was the most wonderful evening of my life. Oh, what was he like? Well, he's tall and handsome and most importantly of all, he's very, very kind. Well, he thanked me for saving that little bird out of the vine. He loves animals. Oh, he sounds like a very intelligent fellow. Oh, he is, and a wonderful dancer. Oh, I had the most wonderful evening. I can't stop smiling tonight. Oh, and Cinderella, I haven't seen you smile like this in forever. Well, there hasn't been anything to really smile about lately, but tonight, I just can't stop smiling. Oh, and when you smile, it makes me smile. <laughs> oh, me out too. There are smiles that make us happy. There are smiles that make us blue. There are smiles that steal away the 
teardrops as the sunbeams steal away the dew. There are smiles that have a tender meaning that the eyes of love alone may see. But the smiles that fill my heart with sunshine are the smiles that you give to me. Well, you two have the best smiles of all. There are smiles, yes, there are smiles. that make us happy. There are smiles, yes, there are smiles that make us blue. There are smiles that steal away the teardrops as the sunbeams steal away the dew. There are smiles that have a tender meaning that the eyes of love alone may see. The smiles that fill my heart with sunshine are the smiles that you give to me. Oh, I agree with you, Cinderella. Nothing can make me stop smiling tonight. <laughs> Cinderella! Except We're for that. Back. Oh, no. Everyone look busy. Cinderella, what have you been doing all night? Probably loafing about. I kept myself busy. Oh, it's a pity you couldn't come to the ball. Yes, you'll never know what you missed. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, nothing in your imagination could compare to what we've seen tonight. Did you have a good time at the ball? It was the event of the century. What? Well, until that girl showed up. What girl? She arrived unfashionably late just to draw attention to herself. Yeah, and if that wasn't bad enough, bad enough, she caused a scene rescuing some filthy bird out of the palace courtyard. I am sure that the prince was horrified. Oh, well, did the prince send her away? Oh, you know how eccentric royalty can be. He actually invited her to join him for the first dance. He must have felt sorry for her. And took pity on the poor girl. Well, did you get to dance with the prince? No. Oh, oh, yes, <laughs> yes! I danced with him all night long. Uh, only when he wasn't dancing with me. Yeah. Well, what happened to the girl, the one he was dancing with first? Well, as if the incident with the bird wasn't bad enough, then she caused a scene at midnight dashing off, leaving the prince behind. Such appalling manners. Oh, was the prince angry? No, he actually ran after her, leaving his guests behind. Oh, how wonderful. Wonderful? It was shocking. Well, I just meant it, it sounds like a, a wonderfully Exciting evening. <laughs> exciting? Sure, if you want to call being a wallflower exciting. I mean, yeah, that was the most exciting night of my life. <laughs> yeah, mine too. <laughs> you will see what you've done, Cinderella. You've caused your stepsisters to cry with all your pesky questions. Oh, my darling daughters, you can dream of your Prince Charming while you sleep. Go, go, go. Cinderella, no sleep for you until you've swept all the ashes from the hearth and put out that cat and dog. Oh, oh thanks, Bowser. Good night, Meowser. Oh. <sighs> I know exactly what I'm going to dream about tonight. Meet me tonight in dreamland under
prince seeks his bride. Prepare ye for a visit from the royal guard to be fitted by the royal shoe. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, did you hear oh, that, my darling that. daughters? The prince seeks his bride today. Is the royal guard coming here? To our house? Yes, he is, so we better tidy up. Cinderella, clean the house from top to bottom. But I just cleaned it last night, stepmother. Well, clean it again. Now, girls, you need to practice your posture again with the books on your head. Now? now. Yes, now. We have very little time. Come on, hurry up. Put the books on your head. Oh. Posture, posture, posture. Let's go. Here we go. And oh! There isn't enough time in the world for you to improve your posture. All right, spruce yourselves up. Try to impress the guard. Put on some ribbons and some bows. Uh, stepmother, may I go change into my blue dress? Whatever for? Well, the palace guard is going to be here soon, and my clothes are all covered in cinders and ashes. Oh, you don't actually think the guard wants to see you. But the proclamation said one and all. <laughs> In that case, he might as well try to shoe a meowser and beowser. Oh, don't forget about Tino's mouse. Oh, Tino split that shoe wide open. <laughs> oh, that's so amusing. Almost as amusing as the thought of a servant girl being a royal bride. Cinderella, sit in your corner and be quiet when the palace guard arrives. Mother, she looks so yucky over there. She'll clash with the decor. Oh, you are absolutely right. Cinderella, go outside and wait until the palace guard has come and gone. But stepmother, it's, it's a very cold morning out. I mean, there's frost on the pumpkin. Oh, very well. Get your cloak, stop complaining, and go outside. Where do you two think you're going? The prince is an animal lover, so you will stay here and show the guard how much my daughters love animals. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here. Oh, shh. Here. Oh, 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 Cinderella, make those beasts behave. Bowser, Meowser, please be good while I'm gone. Now, out into the garden with you. Now that that's taken care of, we need to prepare for the royal visit. All right, girls, be on your best behavior. Ooh, ooh, how do I look? How's my hair? Is it all right? Have you ever considered a toupee? Hey. <gasps> Girls, stop arguing about your hair and let me take a look at your feet. Our feet? Yes, of course your feet. Didn't you hear the proclamation? The royal guard is going to be fitting you with a royal shoe. I think the prince wants to see if his bride has dainty feet. Uh, well, that counts you out. Oh, yeah, look who's talking. Oh, you haven't seen a footprint that big since Jack climbed the beanstalk chasing the giant. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Girls! Yes, Mother. Must you argue about everything? Agatha, take off your shoe. Okay. But, Mother, her feet smell like cheese. If she takes off her shoes, the mice will come running. Oh, another good point. All right, Griselda, you take off your shoe. <laughs> Get ready to see the biggest bunion you've ever seen in your life. My bunion is not that big. Oh, yeah, it just looks like a potato burst out of there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Girls, yeah. enough, enough. Yeah. Enough. Yes, Mom. Mother, what if our feet are too big to fit in the royal shoe? Oh, then I'll just take the meat cleaver and chop off all your toes. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. But do everything you can to make that shoe fit. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, that must be the royal guard approaching now. Okay, pose with your pets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
Meow. Good day, madam. I have been sent by the prince to find the owner of this shoe. Are there any maidens in your household? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do come in. These are my two beautiful daughters, Hagatha and Griselda, and their pets, Bowser and Meowser. <gasps> oh, my daughters just love animals, and I have been told that the prince does too. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Whom shall I fit first? Oh, me, me. <laughs> me, I'll go first. I'll go first. Oh. You? Oh, uh, why not me? Your foot, madam, if you please. Miss, if you please. Miss, if you please. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we are. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it fits, it fits. Oh, yeah. It fits. Madam, your heel is hanging out. Oh, oh, oh. Should I get the meat cleaver, Mother? Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That won't be necessary because I am sure that this shoe will fit you, won't it, Griselda? Oh, yes, I'm sure it will. Here we go. Excuse me, Madam. I can't help but notice your rather large bunion. That may be true, madam, but the royal shoe is made of glass and will not accommodate your rather fashionable bunion. Ooh, I can get the meat cleaver. <laughs> no. Who's next? Ooh, me, me. <laughs> Finally my turn. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what is that overpowering smell <laughs> I suddenly feel? <laughs> it's just my perfume. Oh, I cannot go on. Mother. Don't worry. I'll make that shoe fit if it's the last thing I do. Give me your foot. Oh, right here. Ah, mother. Excuse me, madam. It does not fit. I believe my business here is done, unless there are any other eligible maidens in this household. Are there? No. Who are you? I've been sent here to inform you there is one last maiden that has yet to be fitted with the glass slipper. Are there any other maidens in this household? There is no other maiden. The Ooh. last eligible maiden in the kingdom. Her name is Cinderella. Cinderella? Is there a maiden named Cinderella? Not in this house. Oh, that's true. She's not in the house. Oh, oh yeah. She's nowhere in this house to be found. No siree. Meow, 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 meow. She may not be in this house, but the animals seem to think she's in the garden. Is there a maiden called Cinderella in the garden? She's just a servant girl. Call her. But I don't. At once. Call her. <laughs> Oh, Cinderella. Are you the maiden they call Cinderella? Yes, sir. Step forward and be fitted. It fits perfectly. <laughs> And I happen to have the matching mates. Call it a gift from her godmother. Oh. 
The prince truly has found his bride, your majesty. <sighs> your majesty, I've been sent to bring you to the palace. Your carriage awaits. Well, may I take Bowser, Meowser, and Tiny with? Your wish is my command. <gasps> Thank you, fairy godmother. Uh, you -hoo! A Cinderella. You -hoo! What about us? <sighs> if you insist, your commoners may come as well. I'm sure we can find a place for them in the palace. In the servants' quarters! Oh. <laughs> oh, this is all your fault. Oh, yeah, Miss Bunyan Feet. Hey, cheese toast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Girls! Yes, yes mother. mother. Stop bickering! Yes, mother. Cinderella, goodbye. Thank you.